The back deck roll evolved from the need to roll as quickly as possible, which it does by skipping the setup step that other rolls require. It's an advanced rolling technique that requires good paddle dexterity and a powerful hip snap, and so you can expect it to take a while to master. But once you do, there's a good chance that it becomes your standard rolling technique. As always, we're going to look at the back deck roll flipping to the left because it's easiest for right-handed paddlers. You'll start with your elbows hanging down, with your forearms horizontal, and with your wrist cocked back so that the right paddle blade is facing directly downward. When you're in this position, your arms, your paddle shaft, and your chest form a rectangle, and that rectangle should stay relatively intact throughout the whole back deck roll. You'll then lean back and turn your head and body aggressively. You can even think about trying to look under the stern of your kayak. That'll help keep your head turned and your neck cocked back. With your head and body aggressively leading the way and your kayak committed to flipping, plant the power face of your right paddle blade in the water as early as possible. As soon as it's planted, push it out in a wide arc over your head and then out to the side and all the way to your toes. By keeping your wrist cocked back while doing this, your right blade will stay on a climbing angle that keeps it near the surface and provides the support your hips need to roll the kayak upright. The ball has gone well to this point. Your hips will have snapped your kayak over your head, your head and body will continue to lead the way as your right blade sweeps out to the side of your kayak, and the rectangle between your arms, chest, and paddle should still be intact. The recovery phase of the back deck roll involves swinging your body forward as you sweep your right blade in an arc to your toes. When your right blade finally reaches your toes, your boat should be completely upright and your body should be in a forward position ready for the next stroke. When watching the best paddlers use their back deck roll, it'll probably look like their kayak flips and rolls back upright in a single motion. The key to doing this is committing yourself to flipping once you've passed that point of no return. You can then start your roll before your kayak has even finished flipping over. On a final note, it's often said that the back deck roll is a lot more dangerous because your face is exposed. Although it is true that your face is more exposed, the back deck roll is a lot quicker. Your head also stays closer to the surface throughout the roll, so it's hard to compare the two. What I can tell you is the back deck roll is my favorite.